Hello everyone and welcome to day 3 of this Night March week on Road to TCG Worlds 2016. Now some of you may know that I'm also playing VGC but cities are starting for me on... I have a double cities weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so I'm very excited for that. It's been a long time actually since Worlds that I played a real life tournament. Uh, the one league challenge I tried to go to I arrived like 30 seconds late after registration closed and I couldn't play. And the other two coincided with VGC tournaments, both of which I really wanted to play at. So, and they were more valuable in terms of points uh, when speaking about getting an invite and things like that. So that's why I've decided I decided to play the VGC events instead of the TCG events. Now this weekend the same thing happens, the VGC event on Sunday is closer to my house but I think I really need to, to do well at City Championships if I want to be able to fight for that day to invite at all. So with that in mind I will definitely be playing both City Championships or rather like 99% sure that I will be doing that. And if some of you guys are watching, I hope to see you guys there. I already have over 100 championship points for the TCG, s uh, for the VGC, sorry. So I really need to step up my game for VGC. Now we are up against a Scorched Earth deck. I reckon this is probably Houndoom. I didn't see the types in the previous screen. There's a fire energy and there's a light under, so I definitely think we're going to see a Houndoom EX right now. Possibly another Shaman, but I think a Houndoom EX. I don't know what other fire, to fire type Pokemon there are that, are that are viable. Flareon perhaps? Oh, it's Giratina actually. So then, never mind. This is a Turbo Reshiram Giratina deck, which, since we are playing Night March, could prove quite troublesome if we don't get at least one DC in play this turn. And Bronson will be very important, so I'm sure my opponent knows that and will want to Lysander it up to KO it. But our goal next turn is to go as all in as possible in order to get out the, the first DC in play. After that we can use um, we can use Bronzong to power up, but for now, this is oh, okay. So it's Giratina Houndoom. Never mind, <laughs> Giratina Houndoom Crobat. So perhaps the Giratina is a a Night March tech. It could also be a Mega Rayquaza tech. Not entirely sure to be honest. I've seen Mega Houndoom Crobat. And I've seen Giratina bats, but I haven't seen both of those combined. So it will be interesting to see what my opponent decides to do here. He's really thinking about the three cards he's going to discard with Compressor. And I'm r I think my hand is probably quite optimal in order for us to dig as deep as we can into our deck to get KOs on whatever comes up. If I got the floatstone or a switch, I would definitely try to get a KO on Shaman EX, I believe. Wow, Blacksmith. In a perfect world, I would get a KO on Giratina. <laughs> but wow, he has four energy total in play on his first turn. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty fast. Now, let's see here. Battle Compressor, let me count my Night Marchers. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 3. So, all four Night Marchers. Now, let me count my Stadiums. One Dimension, two Dimension, three Dimension, Okay, so one dimensional volley priced. We want to be aware of that just because of what happened in yesterday's Spanish video. I lost a game because two of them were priced and I d had to discard one with an acrobike. So 
<laughs> I really just never attacked with 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 pump kabu that was all that happened I had a turn where I could have attached another DC to pump kabu and draw but I was confident since I had 20 cards left in my deck that I would be able to to take the KO but unfortunately I didn't now my opponent has two cards in his hand with compressor he discarded these three no these two and blacksmith so I reckon he does have some sort of draw in his hand for next turn so I'm not going to attack shaman I don't think going to discard joltik uh, the other lampant the last one and what else a metal energy how many metal there's already one two three four okay yeah another metal energy for now and I'm gonna play another shaman draw three extra cards I'm going to discard these two and get another pump kabu or bronzong actually I'm gonna get bronzong here mm. maybe that wasn't too smart but just gonna pass for now not gonna seek a more yes just yet there's no need I'd rather save it for next turn in case I need to get my stadium up or something like that he gets out gold badge I think Jirachi will be very important to deal with Giratina and I fully expect him to Sycamore right now he promotes Houndoom though yeah he had a Sycamore in his hand Grand Flame so mm, I don't know he has a lot of cards in his hand he needs the Spirit Link and the Houndoom EX to get a KO and it's only a KO on Jirachi not even on an EX so he might try to melting horn yeah I am weak so never mind he's not going to get a KO he could potentially power up Giratina he could potentially power up Mega Houndoom EX on the bench but as long as I can KO Houndoom this next turn 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 Night Marchers uh, so I need 3 more there's the weakness hit so I think I need a lot of cards for next turn it's gonna be complicated I do have the price trade off in my favor though which is great I think I maybe should have taken a KO on Shaman though now the question is do I use the revive? I think I do on Jirachi though just as an anti Giratina measure I need one battle compressor, that's all I need here. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to bench the other shaman. But I do need Hmm. Okay. One joltic, two joltics, and one pump kapu then. One, two dimension, three dimensional valley. Three dimensional valley gives us roughly let me see here I think I'm going to need the shaman I think I am going to need the shaman I am going to go for shaman I'm going to use metal links onto Jirachi threaten the Giratina with Jirachi and also retreat it has a one retreat cost I am going to bench shaman giving another target for my opponent but I really need a stadium I can't not get the stadium I do get it though which is great and let me just check one two three four five six seven eight nine now that's a clean cut KO on Houndoom and I'm not going to use all this just yet just gonna night march next turn I can KO Giratina I'd need a basic metal energy though 
which are of 20 cards I do like my odds of getting it all I have to do is metal links and get another one out and we have two acrobikes and a sycamore I hope he Lysanders here he won't but if he Lysanders the bronze song will be in an amazing position he goes for hex maniac which is the smart play it's going to hex maniac prevent me from using metal links but that just means Jirachi can wreck face next turn he attaches to Giratina once again there's the hex maniac I guess that's the only Pokemon he could attach to takes the KO but Jirachi won't be taking any damage from anything next turn it's not just a defending Pokemon it's everything done to this Pokemon during the next turn therefore eventually he will miss uh, a Chaos Wheel and that turn all I have to do is attack with with Pumpkaboo 10 damage get rid of one double dragon energy I hope he misplays and either retreats because that will leave only one double dragon energy for him to attach or he tries to attack again I'll be locked yes but that's perfectly fine because I can just repeat the stardust next turn and be completely safe so yeah I'm liking my odds in this game we're at a kind of a stalemate but it's definitely favorable for me definitely definitely favorable for me just because of Jirachi. Jirachi is an amazing card I wonder if I can get those in Mexico though not entirely sure I don't think I can I don't think the blisters were sold in Mexico my opponent is thinking really hard I wonder if this is Chase because the name is Chase Havoc I wonder if this is Chase the Canadian national champion though he does decide taking a KO on Shaman is more important he Lysanders the Shaman goes for the Chaos Wheel once more which is unfortunate for us because he could also take his last two prizes with against one of these shaman I have no way to control his hand which sucks so I might need to put on more pressure here I think if I can get the other metal energy off of these I definitely should KO Houndoom because that's the only thing that threatens threatens Shaman although Acrobat plus Giratina also threatens me so now I'm not so sure and I also need the stadium going to thin out my tech a bit more now do I have the Hex Maniac here? I don't Can I get the Dimension Valley just so it doesn't draw any extra cards? Oh, I can't play a stadium actually. It's only played two Lysanders, two Versus Seekers. 21 cards left in his deck, seven cards left in his hand. I'm gonna go for the Metal Energy. Actually, never mind because I can't play my stadium. So I am forced to start us here once again get rid of another DCE double dragon energy rather and let's see what my opponent has planned for us 20 cards left he didn't do anything last turn well he did Lysander there's a Zubat which could be an issue it's not KOing Jirachi though he needs a Versus Seeker or a third Lysander if he wants to take a prize if he runs all four there's 27 cards I don't think he has it in his hand he does have an escape rope though who do I promote Grand Flame I think I promote Pump Kabu here the 
Energyless Pump Kaboo. Promotes Gold Bat. Is he going to evolve Attach KO? Jirachi or Pump Kaboo or Pump Kaboo? Or is he just going to pass? If he passes, I'm pretty sure that's going to be game. Wow, he has it. <laughs> he has a versus seeker. Now, I definitely don't think he has the fourth double dragon energy. He uses a Sycamore. He only has one versus seeker left now. He's going for the Mega Houndoom. But if I'm able to attack, he evolves. Now he definitely needs his last versus seeker. 210 HP. I can't KO it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The most I can do is 200 damage. So all he needs is his last versus seeker to win. Well, that and an energy. To KO Giratine. Ah, to KO a Shaman. He makes his deck a bit thicker. There's two Mega Turbos in the discard pile. I don't think he's going to attach an energy right now. If only, if only I had a Muscle Band or I had not benched Pump Kabu. If I hadn't, I definitely have the win. Discards an energy. Trying to thin out his deck. Professor's letter, so he has the energy. Does he have the Versus Seeker? That's the big question here. Oh, never mind. Oh no, but he, yeah, he needs the Versus Seeker either way. To use, um, to use Blacksmith now for sure. Oh no, he just ups, oh no, okay, okay, okay. Easy, Pablo. Easy. Do I have another revive? I should have another revive. So... I need to make sure I have the revive for next turn. Okay, I'm gonna promote Jirachi, Metal Lynx, save the DCE. I have the KO right now. So, there's that. I don't have any metal energy in my discard pile. Ugh. Okay. Acrobike. Let's see what I get. That's awful. Okay, I'm gonna get the trainer's mail. Now I'm gonna use the trainer's mail. Hex maniac. Hex. Maniac. I have to attach the DC there. Now I have to hope he doesn't have the double dragon energy. It's either his last double dragon energy or the previous turn his last versus seeker. Now one verse seeker. I've only played one verse seeker. Or discarded one rather. So I'm just gonna seek him more here. Four cards left. All I need is the revive, which I might not have in my deck. I'm not entirely sure. I do have it, okay. So I'm gonna grab it. I know I have the float stone to retreat in case that's needed. I could get rid of these two, but I don't see the need. I'm going to retreat and take the KO on Mega Houndoom. With all 11 Night Marchers in the deck. Wow. Now he needs his double dragon energy. His last double dragon energy. Does he have it? Before he needed the first seeker. Now he needs the double dragon energy. Or a DC. He might run a DC. Oh, he had it. Damn it. Gosh. Man. That was a good game. But unfortunate on our end. Oh well. Not much I could do. I mean, he was down to one out to win. Either he won or he lost this next turn. Because we had... 
we had the verse seeker and our deck was very thin so unfortunate let's move on to our next game see how we do this deck is so fragile though i think that first turn where i didn't take the ko on shaman that's what cost me the game i think that's definitely what cost me the game jirachi was always going to be able to counter Giratina. i also needed all 11 night marchers in my discard pile to take that last ko and mm, we might be up against a mirror match where bronson should definitely be the difference I go first, but if it's a mirror match, I'm gonna be really scared. It could also be Manectric Crobat though. Manectric Crobat Shaman, which we did face uh, last week when we were using Sceptile. So, we'll see now. I think it's most likely Manectric Crobat. Because you'd expect any Night March to use, yeah, either... Either Milotic or Bronzong as support. Now, ugh, my hand sucks. It absolutely sucks. It really does. I'm going to play the Hex Maniac just because I can, and I'm just gonna pass for now. I don't want to get rid of Bronzong. I think Bronzong is going to be very important during the match. That's why I'm not doing anything else. I don't think I'll be able to KO Manectric next turn, but two hit KOing it is still fine by me. Touches a DCE. So if by some miracle I do get nine Night Marchers in my discard pile, I can KO. <laughs> but that's going to be really hard. I am going to try though. I definitely am going to try. I mean, odds aren't in my favor, but it is a possibility. There's step one. I think I'm going to go all in on that strategy. So, with that in mind, there's one lampant, two lampants, and a third lampant. Now, how many battle compressor? Okay, four lampants, two Joltics, another battle compressor. Okay, all four battle compressors are in the deck, which is great. That gives us the best odds in KOing that Manectric. So we need a couple more, potentially, or combinations of Ultra Balls and things like that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, at least we get another battle compressor. So I am going to re get rid of this guy. <laughs> Three double color, this guy. Come on. Joltik and Joltik. That's seven. If I had muscle band, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we go for the acrobike get another acrobatic. I am going all in to try to win this turn one. If I win this turn one, I will play another match. Wow. I got it. <laughs> That's pretty amazing here. Turn one infinite damage for this deck. My opponent isn't conceding yet. Maybe he's in awe of what's happening. But we should have enough. Night March, 180, 200 damage for the win. Turn one <laughs> Might have made it so that my opponent held on to Shaman EX in his hand. He also didn't play a supporter, so that was unfortunate for him. After that, I think we would have been in a bit of trouble because of our hand, depending on what we got with the trainer's mail. But, yeah. That's that can also happen, guys. Turn one wins. So very uh, such a huge contrast with the previous game because that game took so long and we barely lost. And this game we just went all out and won right off the bat super quickly. Now I saw dragon type, water type, psychic type. 
and colorless. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. Dragon types curse me into thinking it might be Giratina Toad. Could be Giratina Toad Crobat. Therefore, going first is pretty pretty amazing for us. I'm going to start with Pomkabu. I think it's definitely Toad Giratina Crobat. I would put money on that. There's a Hoopa. The 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 promo one. Now let's see here. Trainer's mail. <laughs> I get nothing. Really, guys, nothing. Okay, that's so unfair. Going to Ultra Ball away the <laughs> the Joltik and the Metal. No, the Joltik and the Hex Maniac for a Shaman. Going to attach the metal energy just because I don't want to see an enhanced hammer and just because no 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 just because um it's not energy enhanced hammerable <laughs> whatever that means and there's no hurry for us uh seismitoad if it gets promoted won't be dealing any damage to us which is pretty great now I'm going to Ultra Ball and get rid of both of these guys as well. Get another Shaman. I do have Jirachi as well, so I'm not too worried about this. I don't know who to attach the Floatstone to though. I think Shaman is the right play here. Going to Shaman for four more cards. And no supporter. No draw supporter at all. I will be able to KO this guy? No. I won't even be able to Night March for the KO, which really sucks. Going to Versus Seeker, Hex Maniac, try to prevent my opponent from doing things next turn, drawing anything, and we'll see what we top deck ourselves. Ah, pretty frustrating that we didn't get anything eventually off of the uh, cards we drew with Shaman and all of that goes for a Shona here off of that trainer's mail Koopa definitely tells me it's Giratina Seismitoto Ultra Ball gets rid of AZ and Hex Maniac I think we're gonna see a Giratina here that seems the most likely candidate yep there's the Giratina. <laughs> I guess I'm used to predicting everything now that I play so much video game. There's a head ringer. Now look, this is something I really dislike about the new layout. Just how can I know what's a floatstone and what's a head ringer? I can't. I simply can't. Seekomers away, our seeker, which is always great to see. Attaches a muscle band to Giratina. Does he attach an energy? I would think so. Oh wow, he does have hammers and he whiffs. That's great news for us, but... I mean, even better news would be for him not to attach an energy this turn. Now that <laughs> would be incredible news. That would set him back two turns. I hope he goes for Shaman EX here and plays it down. Forgetting I played the Hex Maniac, although it's very visible right under, right next to my deck. But no. Goes for another Giratina. So what I need is to top deck either a Sycamore or a Compressor. That's what I really need here. I need to top deck Sycamore or Compressor. And seeing how I only run two Sycamore, <laughs> Odds of that happening aren't high at all. Gets a head ringer off of the trainer's mail and he has one card left in his deck. In his hand, I mean. That we don't know about. So, could be a Sycamore, for sure. But, hmm. Ugh. I really hate having to discard my Dimension Valley. Still no useful cards for us. And I'm not even going to get a KO on this Hoopa. I could also Lysander, I guess. 
but I don't think I can afford to do so. Only 120 damage, whereas last turn we got off 180, 200 damage so easily. It was ridiculous. He did have the Sycamore, of course. They always, always have the Sycamore. <laughs> gets the Enhanced Hammer. Uh, gets an Energy. So, if these first few turns weren't so bad for us, we wouldn't be in all this trouble. Now he even gets Heads and Super Scoop Pop. Promote Seismic Toad. So he attached to Giratina, but he could have attached to Seismic Toad and locked us even further. Now, okay. Let's see here. We might have to resort to the. No, he's only played one versus Seeker though. We might might have to resort to decking my opponent out. Now he's going to flip heads. Nope. Okay, another super scoop up, okay that's great for our stalling strategy, <sighs> okay increases our retreat cost, 18 cards left, another hammer, there's the heads, so our first night march was definitely far from cost effective. There's a Versus Seeker, and he passes, and we top deck a Joltik, a very, very useful Joltik. I'm just gonna pass, he's gonna do 30, then I'm gonna Lysander the, the Hoopa, he attaches to Giratina, okay, he uses the Versus Seeker on Seismic Toad, that's great news for us. I think I'd rather him lock us down with Giratina than with Seismitoad here because that means my Verse Seekers can potentially become more Lysanders. He's played one, two Super Scoop Pops, two Verse Seekers, one AC. He will take a KO here. Does have the Muscle Band. So I do have the Float Stone. Ugh, this is just so unfair. Okay. Now, I'm going to bench my pump kaboo. I can't even attach that energy. My DC to reuse a shame in here. So, I'm going to Lysander right away. The Hoopa. Do I attach the metal energy to someone though? I think I do. To pump Kabuya. And I'm gonna pass. Let's see what my opponent goes for. What I'm trying to do is force him to Sycamore, trying to get. Ugh, he has Cassius as well. Wow. <sighs> Definitely should have retreated though. That's a big mistake on my part. The fact that he didn't have to waste. Um. A turn on a versus seeker is really bad. <laughs> Just look at my top decks. Just look at my top decks. My amazing top decks, my lack of compressors and supporters. What do I do here, guys? Like, really, what do I do? Touches a DCE. So, my only hope. Because he has three DCs down. My only, 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 only hope is to top deck a Versus Seeker right now. I guess I have two turns to do so. And to promote his Seismic Toad. But he, on he, uh, he still has two Versus Seekers left. One, two. Yeah. I have no chance. I literally have zero chance in this game. Zero. Nada. Zero. Three more cards. <laughs> nice of you to show up, Mr. Battle Compressor. Gonna put a Sycamore there. I'm gonna get rid of Lampant. 
And that's it, I think. Gosh, if I could get Jirachi here. If I could get Jirachi. I'm gonna get rid of teammates as well. A Versus Seeker could get me Jirachi. But no Versus Seeker. I get the Old Trouble. Old Trouble means nothing. Absolutely nothing. It doesn't really matter at all. Yeah, I'm dead. I had a chance if I could promote Jirachi right now. That was my only, 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 only chance. Now I need to top deck something magical. <laughs> I have to top deck an Ultra Ball. I have to top deck... But he still has two verse Seekers to Lysander. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, very contrasting games, very polarizing games, the previous one and this one. We get completely stuck in one, we drew the perfect hand the other. So yeah, that will be all for today guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow in Spanish or Friday in English. And once again, thank you guys very much for helping me with likes on the videos, Monday was great as well. So, if you can, please leave a like on the video as well only takes a second and it means the world to me it really means the world to me thank you very much and i'll see you tomorrow or friday bye bye